Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another exciting Beck Technology webinar. My name is Alex, and I'm on the marketing team at Beck Technology. John Chumley, head of development at Beck Technology, and Michael Boren, chief, Techno chief technology officer at Beck Technology, are here to share a bit more on the why behind the creation of Bid Day. Welcome, John and Mike. Awesome. Thanks, Alex. Glad to be here. Absolutely. All right. Morning. So uh, first question goes to Mike. Uh, we're going to start things off with the question of what was the problem we were trying to uh, solve with the creation of Destiny Bid Day? Well, Alex, I, I think for us, it helps to take a big step back before we talk about what the problem we were trying to solve was and talk more about why we were trying to solve the problem. And in order to do that, I think it's important for our listeners to understand who we are and what makes Beck technology different. So at Beck Tech, we are entirely comprised of people who care deeply about people in the pre-construction space. And we're an organization that is very passionate about those individuals and see the estimators and the pre-con teams as people who are sort of the unsung heroes in making the world a better place to live. So if you take that mindset and you can imagine this group of people who are that passionate about making a difference, you can start to see that for us, it was less about you know, the features and functionality, and it was more about making a difference in their world. And we are actually very uniquely positioned to be able to do things that most people will never be able to do. Um, as a pre-construction person, as an estimator, you really only get experience with a handful of teams and a handful of different companies at most. But Beck Technology, being that group of people who are so passionate, has access to thousands of pre-construction experts. And when you care that deeply about them, we are actually able to get very, very in-depth and deep with their teams on all the learnings they've had throughout the years they've operated in pre-construction. So for us, the big problem we are trying to solve is really about making their lives better. Now, specifically when it came to bid day, uh, the, the thing that I think we should start with is the fact that we wanted to take our product to the web from the very beginning. So we developed this product of our estimating software to be web-based in the future. And for us, that first big step in that direction was our bid day piece. We had bid, bid leveling inside of Estimator. It was loosely coupled. It wasn't exactly what we wanted it to do, especially being desktop based. And so we earmarked this as one of the first big sections for us to take to the web. And that was important. And the value that it offered was it enabled those teams to work together all at the same time which is not something that we saw that they had the ability to do. And also, just frankly, being web-based enables us to take ownership of all of the lessons that we were able to learn working with our customers to try to understand their processes and their businesses and put that into something that they could then use. Because one of the things that we saw is, is that they were using things like Excel spreadsheets and what we found was is that often those spreadsheets that they were using for leveling was created by somebody who no longer even worked for the organization. Either they retired or they moved on. And now they were left with this highly complicated, very awesome, but highly complicated set of Excel spreadsheets that was getting more and more fragile over time. And they really needed somebody to take all of that information and put it into a system that can take them into the future. Chum, I know you've had a lot of experience working with this, being the guy specifically that led the team, that led the charge making Bid Day happen. From your perspective, kind of what, what, was, what was the problem like for you when we were trying to solve this? What were you seeing? Yeah, so, you know, Mike, you kind of touched on it. Uh, the industry pretty much as a whole relies on Excel in order to do the, their bid process. Did level one. one of the issues run into is everybody uses some platform for estimating, defining those scopes of work, getting their costs ready to go, and then you have to get that into bid. So what were people doing? They were either exporting from their estimating system into Excel, 
uh, maybe they were doing a copy paste to get their stuff into Excel. And then they would go through their bid process and you know maybe it worked for them and, and they were able to get it done. But even using Excel, having everybody in the same spreadsheet, uh, you know, that wasn't working. You know, we've, we've talked to many customers, everybody would take their own scope sheets and at the end they would frantically try and put it all together. And then, you know, I hope in a prayer that all the formulas pulled everything in uh, as they were doing it. Um, so that was a big part of it is to be able to, to have that more integrated, be able to get the data from your estimating platform quickly and easily into bid day so that you didn't have to go through the process of imports and exports and copy and paste and hope you get it in the right place. One of the other big pieces is now you've got your bid completed, but maybe you, you, you went out and bid early in the project to get some base numbers. How do you get that back into your estimating software? You know, do you copy paste back in? Do you have to try and import it? Are you trying to escalate your costs to get them to where they need to be and really kind of lose track of where did you get these numbers from? So that was, you know, the other big part we wanted to look at is, hey, we want to be able to get the estimate into the bid platform quickly and easily, let you go through your bid process, get all your leveling, select your subs, okay, we're good to go. And now say, hey, pull all of this information back into my S. You know, a, a, another big problem with Excel, um, and hey, I know Excel can do anything that's both a blessing and a curse, right? So you've got these great compl complicated formulas that somebody spent days, you know, and hours and, you know, trying to pull together the formulas, the macros to get all of this stuff pulled together. And all it takes is somebody keying into the wrong thing. And now you don't know if you have the right numbers or not. So we were able to, you know, kind of pull that away and get that out, you know, all of that complicated stuff out of Excel and have it driven by the program so you don't have to do that. And finally, the big thing we kept hearing is how do we go back and, and review our old bids? We got to go look for them. Where, where was that project folder? Hey, I remember something about you know, Joe's concrete bidding on this project and it, it was really great. I gotta see if I can go find that and trying to dig through all of those folders. So having one place where all of your bid process takes place, all your projects are searchable, you can go pull history and look at it. These were all important drivers that we were trying to solve for our customers. Um, these are the things that they expressed to us were problems that they had with their Amazing. Thank you both. That that sheds a lot of light on what we were trying to accomplish whenever we were building out um, bid day and, and trying to come up with a solution that was great for our customers. Um, Chum, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but um, we'd love to go into a little bit more and dig a little bit into uh, the process of what what it was like to develop bid day. And um, you know, we're big on we're big on feedback and working with our with our customers day in and day out to understand their needs so that we can build better solutions for them. So through the development process, was there something that um, you know, kind of sparked the interest or kind of kept the, the process going when developing and kind of take us back to basics on how Bid Day came to be. Yeah, you know, before we ever wrote the first line of code, designed the first screen, we spent hours and hours meeting with our customers. Um, you know, while we had an idea of a path to go down, we wanted to hear from the experts in this field. Um, so, and I, I hated my calendar back then. Um, there was never a free spot in my calendar. Nobody could get meetings with me because I was spending all my time meeting with customers. Because this was important to make sure we were building what the industry needed and not what we thought the industry needed. Um, so I met with customers day in and day out um, to really find out what are their current processes, what do they like about what they can do, what do they not like. Uh, and what can they not do, and how would they like to see this go in the future? So we started out just getting lots of feedback from our customers. Then we started kind of building on that and saying, okay, with all this feedback, let's start trying to lay something out. Um, I am not an artist, and you know anybody out there that met with me early on in bid day will know that the, uh, the little mock-ups of what we were trying to do were, were very rudimentary, but I think they actually helped tell a good story of where we were trying to go. And so then we would meet back again and, okay, based on our last conversation, here's kind of what we were, we're thinking that, you know, this would be like, 
and then we would continue to receive that feedback. You know, maybe we missed the mark here, maybe we could add something else over here, and just continue to evolve until you know the customers were like, "Man, if I had this today, this would be game changer." And then we knew we were onto something. So it was a very iterative process, uh, you know, meeting with, and we met with both the existing clients. We met with uh, even prospects who were just kind of looking at our software from the beginning, and they're like, "Hey." You know, what's this with bid day? We hear about, we would love to get, you know, their input as well. So mm -hmm. um, it was really, we were willing to talk to anybody in the industry who had a passion about bid leveling and, you know, where we could take this product. Mike, any input there? Well, I guess maybe just to echo something that, that Chum said here, which is for us, that was such a learning experience. When we went into that, we thought we had a really good idea of what it meant to make a bid leveling product. And, you know, I would say probably naively, we set those first few meetings thinking that it was gonna be more validation. Like how do we clean up the story, but we basically got the root of it. And I think what Chum and I figured out really quickly is, is it was so much broader than we initially gave it any credit for and that everybody did it their own way. And, you know, we really started to understand why other companies have struggled to tackle this problem is you know during the development we realized this is not just a standard process that everybody does the exact same way you've got to really make sure they can do what they need to do the way that they need to do it but still provide them structure and to me like that was one of the biggest things when we were developing this out the other thing that i think uh chum that w w from my experience I love the excitement and the energy when we showed up to talk about, you know, bid leveling and when we wanted to talk about integrating that in with the estimating product, there was so much passion around making this happen, so much excitement. And what I really love too is taking some of those ideas and those, those learnings that we had from one customer and baking that into the process. Chum did an awesome job of constantly evolving the mock-ups and then leading the team that was creating the product so that eventually those mock-ups started to become working product. And every time he would show up to a customer, he would have less and less and less pictures and more and more and more application. And it was all built from those customers' ideas that he had baked into there. And to see the looks and the reactions from customers when they were exposed to another idea that they hadn't considered. And they're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It just snowballed. And so the process of developing it initially was like, holy crap, what do we get ourselves into? And then over time, it was, this is really going to make a difference. And for me, like it just got better and better and better and better. That's awesome. And uh, thank you both for, the, for that answer, those answers. That was, that was great to hear the, the feedback around that. Um, you know, we, we just chatted a little bit about that, about that, that customer feedback and, and those who were actually in bid day and able to um, utilize it. Um, in the spirit of transparency and community, um, any, any thoughts on what the feedback has been like for those who have been able to, to utilize bid day? Hey, you know, I'd say so far the biggest feedback we've had is, you know, people really like that this has now been standardized. Um, really like how you can quickly take your estimate and be ready to start bidding. Push the push that data over there, have your scopes of work in your bid tabs ready to go. Um, you know, being able to work all together in the same estimate and see live updates coming, you know, uh, as we kind of talked in, in a lot of our meetings with our clients, you know, one of the things they talked about is the war room bidding, right? You know, everybody's in the room and everybody's trying to get those last ones in and they're seeing the changes. Um, you know, but they're constantly having to try and do refreshes. So, you know, on our bid summary page, something that can be put up in the war room, and they love to be able to just sit there on that bid summary page and watch as those bids start getting finalized and see those totals automatically updating and showing where we're at at any given time for any stakeholder who walks into the, you know, into the war room. Um, one of the, you know, one of the other things is being able to actually now go back and to try and find that, um, you know, be able to find that project and go back and look and, and analyze it has been a big deal. I will say, you know, 
just like any new product out there, there are still tons of features that that people are going, you know, that people are looking for. Um, you know, it does not do everything that their you know current bid process uh, required for them to do. Um, we have a huge backlog on this. Um, anybody who's been an estimator customer for any number of years knows we push out uh, releases on a on a regular cadence. Same way with bid day. We're taking all of this input from our customers, sitting down to truly understand the needs um, and and how this you know how we should improve the product and working through that to make sure that we're able to continue to deliver great innovative ideas into this platform to really make it something that people want to you know want to get into. There, you know, instead of dreading bid day, we want them to be excited. Ooh, it's bid day. Let's let's go out there and let's let's talk this out. Yeah, that's a great reminder that even, um, you know, as, as those new releases roll out, we've always got um, our Beck Tech community as well to be able to go in there and, and work alongside some of your your peers and, and those who are um, in the field as well. It's, it's always a great option out there, and we always receive some great feedback and, and collaboration on that front as well. Mike, any thoughts on that? Yeah, well, from, from my perspective, Alex, it's been a ton of excitement. I think what we have seen was is that it started to open their minds up to what is now possible you know with the cloud-based solution like we've got with exposing the concepts and ideas of truly being integrated we started to see a lot more around hey what else could we possibly do and i think that's where you know chum talked about this backlog the ideas have not stopped coming you know once once they've started to get in there and use it yes it does leveling but what if, you know, and then they have, what if it was tied to our bid solicitation? What if it was tied to our sub call systems? What if we now have the ability to have data analytics on a totally different level? And to me, that's freaking awesome. And I love the fact that, you know, we're getting so much excitement. So I think, I think from our perspective, the feedback is guys, I want you to move as fast as humanly possible and get everything done yesterday. And Frankly, Chum and I are in the same boat. You know, for us, it's like we can't move fast enough to get these ideas in place because they're so good. Um, so I think for us, the feedback is move fast, make sure it's a great product. And here's probably 50 more ideas than I thought of just last night. You know, typically that's a lot of the conversations we're having. Excellent. Um, that is all the questions that I have for, for you all today. I'd love to um, kind of recap and, and go over a couple of the um, kind of like the high level benefits and um, some of the uh, the new things that have come out of util the utilization of bid days. So if there's any uh, way either Chum or Mike, you can take this one to kind of talk about uh, the best benefits of utilizing bid day. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I would, some of the biggest benefits is actually being able to have your team all working in the bid at the same time and getting real time updates. Uh, not having to, you know, be siloed working on just your scope of work and not really seeing how this is impacting the overall bid. Uh, being able to compare all your bids at one time, you know, you can you can now pull this up and see everything side by side and how is that impacting the overall project. Um, no no maintenance on your side. You no longer have to maintain your own uh, spreadsheets. Um, you don't have to have IT install something on your computer. Um, this is all cloud-based, and you know you can access it anywhere, anytime. Uh, you know, it's deer season. Maybe you're out in the, the deer lease trying to get that final bid across. You can actually work on it out there. Um, you know, the big part is being able to uh, you know quickly create your bid directly from Estimator. Um, so you can actually just push that out to bid day, and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, and then uh, you know, Mike has touched on it. All of this data is all historical data now, so you can access that historical data. Um, pulling this back into Estimator will let you see how it evolves over time, how we went from our estimate to our bid, to you know maybe adding some additional scopes of work and then bidding that out. It all becomes part of that pre-construction data lifecycle of the you know the life of that project from when it first started getting estimated to the final bid. Yeah, I think two other things. I think those are some of the some of the big things that you know that just kind of top of mind. I was, I was going to layer on to Chum's uh, feedback that the two other things that I've seen um, is that it really de-risks the bid leveling process. 
because you don't have those chances for people to come in and type in a value and accidentally overwrite a formula. You know, so you don't have the ability, especially when it's crunch time on the 11th hour and you got to get that bid in. You know, when the tensions are high, sometimes mistakes can get made. And this really does help de-risk that and de-risk the bid loving process. The other thing that was um, something that I think a lot of our customers hadn't considered is we spent a lot of time thinking about how to train our customers and using the product. And in this day and age, when it's so hard to find good qualified pre-construction personnel, people that really know how to do this, that's a problem in and of itself. But then teaching them your custom spreadsheet and your custom process, there's a big ramp time there. And it, even if they're a senior person, it takes them time to learn how to use this new tool. And the great thing about having our product is, is that we've got so many resources, online training programs, dedicated in-house humans who can get on the phone and work with you and train your team in tried and true processes. And we've even seen people who already knew the product who would show up in an organization and be ready to hit the ground running on day one. So I think just that ramp time, getting new estimators up to speed quickly has been a key piece in today's market. Amazing. Thank you both for uh, highlighting some of those benefits and touching a little bit more on, on how that's been working out for those who have been util utilizing Bid Day. I want to thank uh, both Chum and Mike. It was a great conversation around the why behind uh, Bid Day and shedding a little bit more light on how we continuously collect feedback from our customers, our users, um, and just our community overall. Um, it's always great to hear from everyone and see everyone in these webinars um, as we continue our learning um, here at Back Technology. Um, and again, thank you to our two panelists today. Um, this webinar will be available. We will be sending out an email uh, with the recording of it. So if you were not able to, or if you know someone who would love to be able to see this, um, please feel free to send that along to them. As well, we do have a, uh, a new webinar that's gonna be coming out in January around DE&I in the pre-con industry. So stay tuned for more information on that. Thank you again, Chum and Mike, and thank everyone for being here today for this webinar. Thank you, Alex, and thank you to every customer who bothered to take the time to help us make the product what it is today. Really do appreciate that. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. And I would even throw a free thanks to uh, all our customers on here who are going to have some great ideas after this webinar um, that want to contact us with some some ideas that they have that we can continue to make this product something that you know you're raving about to to other peers in the industry about it. Man, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. So uh, a pretty thanks to all of you who are going to continue to help make this product the best it can be. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Mike and Chum. Thanks, everybody.